Today we will be doing net present value where the cash flows are even. Even cash flows means in the question the future cash flows that are given are exactly the same. So let us take an example quickly. Suppose the initial investment is of rupees 2 lakh and project inflows for 5 years which are given are exactly the same. So today's technique of calculator will work only and only when the cash flows are same for 3 years or 5 years or 10 years also. So you can use this shortcut on the calculator. First let us see what was the basic concept. Uh, in the question they have also given us that, that the cost of capital is 12%. So what we usually do is we draw a table where we, we use 12% as the discounting factor or the PV factor. 12% is also written as 0.12 and for removing the PV we do 1 divided by 1 plus 0.12 that is 1 divided by 1.12. So on the calculator what we do is 1 divided by 1.12. We get the answer as 0.893. So this is rounding off. So 0.893. Then we press equal to again. So we get 0.797. So on and so forth. So we draw up the PV factors for 5 years. And then we make the table. We multiply each year. The values of each year. And we come to the final answer. Now this is the return technique. But let's see how we can do it on the calculator. I'll show you again. 1 divided by 1.12. Now our calculation is for 5 years. And we are also keeping in mind that this is only and only when the cash flows are same. So let us start again. 1 divided by 1.12 equal to. So this becomes for 1 year. We have to go till the 5th year. We will press equal to again. This is second year. You can see the numbers are also matching. Third year. Fourth year. Fifth year. We have come to the fifth year. Now on the calculator we will press the GT button. This I press the GT button. So I get my answer as 3.605. I will round it off to 3.605. If you think you will forget it, so just write it down here. 3.605 multiplied by 50,000. So in the question, I am getting cash flows as 50,000 every year. So I will press 50,000. I will put this in M plus. You need to press M plus after this. Then we will see the question again. We have the outflow as rupees 2 lakh. We will press 2 lakh multiplied by 1 is equal to. Now we will put the outflow, the initial investment in M, M minus and then we press MR. We get the answer as negative 19,750. That's the answer had we done the table. So we just saw that we can calculate the entire table on the calculator. Similarly, sometimes they give us discounting factor as 10%. So 10% is 0 0.10. And for discounting factor, we do 1 divided by 1 plus 0 0.10. That is... 1 divided by 1.1. So when you draw up the table, you are basically doing 1 divided by 1.10 on the calculator. The same thing can be used when 1 divided by 1.1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is for 5 years again. Then we will press GT. So for 5 years, your Answer was 3.791. I have rounded it off. 
seven nine one multiplied by whatever was the even cash flow. So let's stick with the same example, even cash flow. This is the answer that you got. Put it in M plus. And our outflow, our initial investment was two lakh. Multiplied by one. Put the outflow in M minus. Then press M R. So. The same question, had they changed the discounting factor, the discounting uh, percentage, we would have got a negative answer as the NPV yet again. So we can see that if the cash flows are even, you can get the NPV on the calculator itself without writing the entire table. Following question, with the help of the calculator trick that we've just studied, after a few days, we will definitely pin the correct answer. If you like the video, do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.